Hi folks, it's William with Lodestone, here once again with another quick tip for you. Now today's quick tip is all about video. So here at Lodestone, we like to use professional video tools for our heavy lifting. If we have some major video work, well, we want to use professional tools to edit those videos. And so one of those tools is Adobe's Premiere Pro. And it is an amazing assembly tool and editing tool for video. Uh, the fact that it works with Adobe Audition, Adobe After Effects, just makes it even more powerful. Well, this particular episode is not about Premiere Pro. As great as it is, there are some times where I need some additional help, especially when it comes to compressing the video. So I have a small video here that I have pieced together, and it's very, very simple. Uh, I'll just run it through here real quick. It's just a green screen of me displaying a reflector. I use this for one of my other courses here, and it just kind of goes on some of the other photographic equipment that we use. Okay, so what I've done is I want to export or render this video. So I'm going to come down here to the timeline. I'm going to click once there in the timeline and I am going to export this. So for me on a Mac this is a command M and it's just an export command. And so what it's going to do is export the media. Now all the settings here, you can set them up however you see fit. There's various formats, there's different presets, and all this stuff is great. The thing that I want you to look at is right down here. Right here before I can choose to queue, export, or cancel this, there is an estimated file size of 135 megabytes for this particular file. So I've already exported this. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so I'm going to get rid of Premiere for a moment. And so here on my desktop, we will see the file that I rendered here, this Reflector MP4. Now, let me get some information on this. Let's see how big this file really is. Well, according to the Mac OS, this is actually 142.1 megabytes. So a little bit larger than what Adobe had estimated. Well, you know, 142 megs doesn't sound like a whole lot in the scheme of file size. But think about us having to deliver this over the internet or perhaps over your LMS. So when I'm creating content for my e-learning modules, I like to use a lot of video. And this can get really big really fast. So what I like to do is see if I can compress even more out of this video. I've done all I can do with the Adobe tools, but there is another tool. Uh, it's a free tool, and I'll bring this up right here. It's called Miro Video Converter. And so this is the little interface here. Now, where do we get this? Well, jump over here. It is simply www.mirovideoconverter.com. And so it's a free app. And we've been using this for about a year now. And we haven't noticed any degrading of our video quality. But we do notice a huge boost when it comes to the compression of the video. Let me get rid of this. And let's take a look. So the video converter panel, very simple, and it just tells you, drag your videos here or click to choose the files. Well, I'm just gonna drag and drop my video file here. And it loads it up and I can load up several videos. Now, down at the bottom, how do I want to convert them? So I can convert them for various devices. Okay, or I can just choose a format. So I wanna choose a video format. I want to go right back to the same file format of the MP4. So I'm going to choose that, and there we go. Now that I've chosen it, it is ready to convert, and I get a big green button down here, ready to convert. I'll click on that, and it's going to ahead and convert this video. All right, we have finished the conversion here. So now I'm prompted to show the file or clear the file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the show file link here and it's going to open up the Miro video converter folder where it placed my uh, file here. So uh, I'm just going to get information on this one and let's see. Wow, look at that. We are down to 15 megabytes. Once again, let me remind you over here on the original file from Premiere, we were at 142.1 megabytes. So that is an amazing amount of compression here for this. 
if we look at the specs down here, we can see that it looks like pretty much everything is exactly the same, other than that file size. Now, the real proof is, of course, in the pudding. So, if I open this file, and then I open the original, let's see if we can tell a quality difference in these two. I'll set them side by side and just play them both. Well, I don't know about you folks, but I really cannot tell a difference on these things. And the file savings is tremendous. And this is going to be a huge help when I start incorporating multiple videos into my e-learning projects. So there you have it, folks. Squeezing a little bit more space out of your videos using Miro Video Converter. Now, if you want to learn more about the video editing process and some of the tools we use here at Lodestone, be sure to check us out on the web at lodestone.com.